seaside park plus a great workout in the open air. A massive with the sea and the mountain views. A well-preserved fishing village with Instagrammable views galore. This is Zhuanan Feng, and today we are walking Da Qingshan National Park. Welcome to Drone Phone. This is a show where I take my trusty drone and phone. I'm filming with you right now to show you some of Asia's best one-day outdoor activities. After half an hour taxi drive from Zhoushan downtown area, I have come to Da Qingshan National Park, the southernmost part of Zhu Jiajian Island, which is famous for its beach around the globe. But unfortunately, it's winter now, so I cannot fully play around. But never mind, don't be down there. We have a green mountain there to explore, so let's go! Ferries to the main island of Zhoushan can be taken from Shanghai, Ningbo and Hangzhou. Located in Putuo district, Da Qingshan National Park covers 10 square kilometers. Take bus 25 from Dinghai district, get off at Da Dong Dai and walk to the entrance of the national park. It is famous for its green mountains, vivid flower lake, blue sea and summer skies, just like a Monet painting. But we are here in winter, and the face of the national park is no less impressive. This is the possibly the largest national park I've ever been. I hardly remember how long I have walked, and the strong gale has almost blown my mind away. But compared to the steep boarding hill of the Mount Putuo, I still think this national park is gentle for me. It is a four hour walk to the Xiaoqiwan village, the best preserved fishing village in the east of Zhejiang province. Sun dried seafood, fruitful tangerine trees, and groups of domestic fowls are all easy to find in the village. If you still have the energy, walk the skyway to the peak. It's about a two hour climb, but well worth it for the views across the region. I'm on the Da Qing Peak now. The vistas here are so spectacular. Just look at the vast sea and the greeneries. My words bite me so hard. The Da Qingshan National Park is nothing but gentle. It takes me four hours to walk from the entrance to the fishing village and two hours to climb the Da Qing Mountain. So you're a big fan of hiking. The low season would be a better choice for you. Now if you like our show and never want to miss an episode, please like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash drone phone or you can find all our previous episodes nicely catalogued on droneandphone.com. This is Drone Phone and I am Sophie Ann.